this country has seen so far. I have been following defense camps for a long time. Arunji has been following it for an even longer time. And we can say with great deal of confidence that this is clearly the biggest scam involving firstly a loss of at least 35,000 crores to the public exchequer. Secondly, a compromise of our national security by reducing the aircrafts which the Air Force had asked for, which the Air Force needed from 126 to 36 without, and I say this with authority, without a single person in the Air Force or a single person in the Defense Ministry saying that this requirement of 126 can be scaled down to 36. Not one person. I say this with authority. The present Air Chief who happened to be in Paris on that day when this deal was signed, he told people that I know that I was not aware of this reduction from 126 to 36. From 126 to 36, he said he was not aware of this. Parikar said that he was not aware of this. Nobody in the Air Force, nobody in the Defense Ministry had asked for this reduction. Mr. Modi on his own unilaterally takes this decision, signs a new contract, makes everybody believe that this 36 would be delivered on the same weapons platform, on the same technical specifications at better prices. But what we find now, according to the press releases of both Dassault as well as Reliance, that the price has in fact been increased by at least 1,000 crores per aircraft. More than doubled clearly. And the reason why they have been caught and the reason why they are hiding on secrecy is because they inadvertently stated on 18th, if you see page 27 of the press release, in November 2016, this fact is not brought out sufficiently that today the government says that price can't be revealed under the secrecy agreement. On November 2016, this very government stated formally in parliament that intergovernmental agreement with the government of France, the French Republic has been signed on 23, 23rd September 2016 for the purchase of 36 Rafael aircraft along with the requisite equipment, services and weapons. Cost of the Rafale aircraft is approximately 670 crores and all the aircraft will be delivered by April 2022. After having said this formally in Parliament, does it lie in the mouth of the government to say today that no price can't be revealed because it is covered by a secrecy agreement? And the reason why they have been caught is because Reliance and Dassault, if you see both their press releases which are there, <coughs> both of them said, the first press release of Reliance is on page 30. In the middle of page 30, they say, on 23rd September, India and France signed a purchase agreement for supply of 36 Rafale fighter jets at a value of 7.87 billion or about 60,000 crores. So this is the Reliance statement. Thereafter, you have the, uh, the Dassault statement, which starts at page 32, where on the top they say, order intake in 2016, Euro 9.558 billion. This is 36 Rafale and some Falcon. And at page 34 they say, that the Falcon order is 1.419 million, which makes the Rafale order to be 8.139 billion. So even more than what Reliance had stated. So Rafale is saying that the worth of the order of 36 Rafale planes is 8.139 billion, which is on today's prices 65,000 crores. So 65,000 crores for 36 planes, today it comes to more than 1,700 crores per aircraft. <coughs> so, uh, and as 
next day. The government is hiding, is saying that no, no, reliance, when this question was raised, how is Hindustan Aeronautics kicked out and reliance brought in? Government now feigns ignorance and says we had nothing to do with it. Are you going to sign the dissolve? They have to pass the dissolve to whoever they agree. But then we found this offset guidelines of the government itself which came into force in April 2016, just five months before this deal is signed by this very government. And this guideline says every offset contract regardless of value has to be approved by the Raksha Mantri. By the Raksha Mantri, by the Defence Minister. And today the government says अरे उन्होंने 20,000 करोड़ 21,000 करोड़ का कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक बोगस कंपनी को अपने आप दे दिया हम क्या कर सकते हैं इसमें हमारा क्या इससे लेना देना एंड देन दिस स्पिन अबाउट इंडिया स्पेसिफिक अपग्रेड अरे हमने छह डॉक्यूमेंट्स लगा दिए हैं इसमें इन देर एनेक्शर्स विच से रिपीटेडली अगेन � that the negotiation for the first contract was with everything. That was the RFP with maintenance, with weaponry, with everything. That's the statement of the government in parliament also, 670 crores includes everything. That's the statement of the, uh, of that, uh, uh, so that Parikar also, uh, CEO Eric Trapper said that we are, we are not Moving out at all, we are not budging from the RFP. We are going to stick to the RFP and deliver according to the RFP. <coughs> this Parikar says that no, no, we we cancelled that 126 plane deal because that would have been too expensive. It would have cost us 90,000 crores for 126 planes, which comes to 715 crores per aircraft. And now we find that they have signed a deal for 36 aircraft for 65,000 crores, which comes to 1,700 crores per aircraft. And isiliye, that is why they are hiding behind secrecy, because they know that as soon as they put the papers on the table, the game will be up. <laughs> and as Arunji pointed out, this has several implications. First, they have completely compromised the security of this country. Air Force for the last so many years has been saying we are short of at least seven squadrons and we need seven squadrons. On that basis that RFP was floated for 126 aircraft and that is reduced suddenly to 36 Without anybody, nobody in the Air Force, nobody in the Defense Ministry and the plea given is that oh no, that would have been too expensive. And therefore 36, when you almost two and a half times you have made the price of the aircraft <coughs> and make in India, which was one of the central pieces of that earlier program, that you will acquire the technology to be able to make this aircraft in India. One other thing, you see, make in India would initially be more expensive than buying ready to fly because initially you have to set up the plant. You have to pay the cost of transfer of technology. But even with all that, according to Mr. Parikar, the price was still 715 crores per aircraft. If you had to buy ready to fly, it would have come to less than that, less than 715 crores because make in India would involve long term benefits, but in the short term you have to pay a higher price because in the long term you will be able to manufacture these planes in your own factory in Hindustan Aeronautics. All that is given a go by and then one of the other lies being told to us is no, no, this is a government-to-government -government deal. How can there be any hanky-panky in a government-to-government -government deal? It is like, suppose our government entered into an agreement with France. We are making these frigates. We are making these frigates, we are making them supply them. And 
आप फ्रेंच गवर्नमेंट से ठीक है उसका ऑफसेट जो है 50 परसेंट आप हमारे आदमी को दे दीजिएगा और ये गवर्नमेंट टू गवर्नमेंट डील हो जाती है कैन यू से दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ गवर्नमेंट टू गवर्नमेंट डील देर फॉर दे कांट बी एनी हैंकी फैंकी आई मीन इट मेक्स कंप्लीट नॉन सेंस ऑफ दिस आई मीन इफ देर इज अ करप्ट गवर्नमेंट इट विल सर्टनली एंटर इन टू अ डील दोनों को फायदा हो रहा है दोनों के लोगों को फायदा हो रहा है उधर उसको हायर प्राइस मिल रहा है फ्रांस को फॉर द सेम एयरक्राफ्ट उस उनकी कंपनी को और यहां पर इनके क्रोनी को ऑफसेट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट मिल रहे हैं सो वन आफ्टर अनदर दिस होल प्रोसेस हैज रिवील द लाइव ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट द फर्स्ट लाइव वॉज दैट प्राइस कैन बी रिवील second lie was ki this 126 was brought down to 36 because 126 was mehanga ho jata third lie was that offset contract was decided by dassault fourth lie was that this was cheaper that this is a this new deal of 36 aircraft is cheaper than the previous deal etc and then they asked any current deal pe ki hai दैट बिकॉज ये एडवांस हो गए नाउ वी हैव बस्टेड दैट एडवांस बिजनेस बाय पॉइंटिंग आउट दैट दी अर्लियर डील एंड एवरीथिंग एंड दी गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टेटेड दैट सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी करोड इज द प्राइस इंक्लूसिव ऑफ एवरीथिंग हाउ आर वी नाउ हाउ इज डेसॉल्ट आयस नाउ गिविंग अ फिगर ऑफ सिक्सटी थाउजेंड करोड फॉर थर्टी सिक्स प्लेन विच आर नॉट कॉन्ट्रडिक्टेड बाई एनी बडी इन द गवर्नमेंट इट मीन्स इट मीन्स that in fact the agreement that has been entered into is at a price which is at least a thousand crores more per aircraft than the earlier contract more than double and then they ask ke isme to corruption nahi hai dekhiye bofors mein to middleman tha isme middleman kaun hai are bhai ambani kaun hai ambani kahan se aa gaya is deal mein 21000 crore usko aise pocket mein aise hi mil jayenge <laughs> they are saying who is q are bhai this is q and a this is the q this is the a of uh, of the rafael scam and as i as arun bhai said that this is a textbook case of criminal misconduct dekhi abhi unhone ek kaam kiya das din pehle ek parliament ne congress mein prevention of corruption act ko amend kar diya और क्रिमिनल मिसकॉन्डक्ट जिसमें कि 2G और कोलगेट में सारे पब्लिक सर्वेंट्स को चार्ज किया गया है उसको हटा दिया सेक्शन 13 क्रिमिनल मिसकॉन्डक्ट हैज बीन रिप्लेस बाय न्यू सेक्शन वाई अब देखिए क्रिमिनल मिसकॉन्डक्ट कैसे डिफाइन था इफ ए पब्लिक सर्वेंट गिव्स एन अनड्यू बेनिफिट टू एनी प्राइवेट पर्सन एनी पर्सन विदाउट एनी पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट or by abusing his power as a public servant that's criminal misconduct <coughs> 131d2 131d3 isme <coughs> koi public interest nahi hai aapne price badha diya hindustan aeronautics ko bhi hata diya reliance ko le aaye kya public interest hai and you benefit to diya hi hai price aapne 1000 crore badha diya और अपनी अथॉरिटी का मिसयूज करके प्राइम मिनिस्टर तो कोई अथॉरिटी नहीं थी विदाउट अप्रूवल ऑफ द कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन सिक्योरिटी विदाउट एनी रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम द एयरफोर्स विदाउट एनी रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम द डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री ही हैड नो बिजनेस नो अथॉरिटी टू एंटर इनटू टू न्यू अग्रीमेंट फॉर थर्टी सिक्स प्लेन एंड देर फोर दिस इज ए टेक्सट बुक केस ऑफ क्रिमिनल मिसकॉन्डक्ट अंडर द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ करप्शन एक्ट ऑन विच मिस्टर मोदी पर्सनली वुड हैव बीन प्रोसिक्यूटेड would have been prosecuted i mean there is no escape from this whatsoever as i as a lawyer i can tell you there cannot be a stronger case for criminal misconduct than this and that is why this amendment has been made just 10 days ago to get them out get get them off the hook of course the babus are also very happy that theek hai ab aage se to hamara bhi prosecution nahi hoega so therefore <coughs> therefore as arun bhai said that all of us who a duty to this country to keep our eyes firmly on this to keep asking these questions 
and so does the opposition of this country. And if this government had any shame whatsoever, they would stop hiding behind the smoke screen of secrecy and put out everything, all the documents on the table. The French Prime Minister has already said that he has no objection 